three. All right, Gab, why don't you walk us through your list of the uh, top five value for money signings this summer? All right, now that you should have the caveat there. It's the way too early one. We're only a quarter mm-hmm. of the way through the season. At five, Tijani Reinders from uh, from Alkmaar to Milan. He's been a two-way leader. He gives you quality. He gives you intensity. Um, and I think, you know, given that he's, what, 25, 26 years old, he's an absolute sniff. Uh, James Madison, more expensive. These are, these are Premier League uh, prices. But, hey, I really like uh, Madison. I think under Postacoglu, he can go to the next level. Uh, in his career. Jude Bellingham, okay, 100 million. Uh, how's that going to be a bargain, you say? Well, uh, the way it's going to be a bargain is the kid is just 20 years old. He's strolled into the Bernabeu. It's like he owns the Bernabeu. Uh, 10 goals, three assists through his, his, through his first 10 games. Uh, that's even better than a certain Cristiano Ronaldo at this stage, which with a little difference to Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, when he arrived, was 24 and had already won the Ballon d'Or. Number two, never thought he'd do this. I'd say this. I'm going to hold my hands up. Joe Felix, not a fan of this deal when it happened. But you can make a strong argument that he's been uh, uh, Barcelona's best player, or at least one of their best players thus far. Uh, he's invigorated working with Xavi. For me, uh, he's been really, really impressive. And I'll say it. I was wrong about it. Number one, only one winner. It is slightly cheating because he came on loan and they simply exercised uh, the option to buy. But... Serhu Girassi at 9 million euros. If you don't know who he is, you don't watch enough Bundesliga and Derek Ray is going to be unhappy. Uh, the <laughs> Stuttgart are what? Second, third in the table. The man has scored 13 goals in seven league games this season. It's the kind of thing that makes you say, Erling who? Harry who? It's all about Serhu Girassi. 9 million euros. I don't think anybody's going to be beating that anytime soon. Mm. Anything to keep Derek Ray happy here on uh, ESPN FC. You're a rankings guru. What do you think of the list? Um, pretty impressive. I, I probably it's hard to it's hard to argue with Garassi in at number one at nine million euros. I think I'm right in, in, in saying um, Nkunku was was last season's leading scorer with 16, I, I believe it was, so to be on 13 at this point of the season. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's hard to disagree with, with with Gab's assessment as to who's number one. Um, when that list started, I thought Jude Bellingham would be either one or two. Right. I, I, I just, and, and listen, I, I know he is by far, by, well, by 60 million euros, the most expensive on the list. Mm-hmm. But the start that he has made, uh, again, to, to Gab's point, is, is so unexpected. It has, it's so phenomenal in a team where we question to start the season where the goals would come from, given that Karim Benzema went out of Saudi Arabia. Jude Bellingham is, is proving, is proving, uh, well, probably double that price at, at, at this point. So I, I'd probably bump him up one. Craig? Yeah, I think, you know, people might look at Bellingham. Bellingham's, Bellingham's value for money because he's not 200 million. Because he's basically playing like a player mm. that would cost that amount of money, uh, playing the way he is. I mean, he's been, it's just been an, an unbelievable watch, really. James Madison's an interesting one. I've always felt Madison was a good player. I, I, I did have some reservations about moving to a bigger club into London with a new manager. How was he going to influence a team that, uh, like Tottenham, who you know they're looking with all respect, you know, no Leicester won the league in 2016, but it's been a it's been a, a, a up and down and then down last season time for them. How is he going to cope? How is he going to go in with bigger and better players and adjust to that? And he has been absolutely. Tremendous. He's taken it all in his stride and he looks like a player, a bit like Bellingham in a way, in terms of how he's handled Real Madrid. It's a different pressure, but it's all relative to where the player comes from. The the way Madison's handled going in there and playing in front of that big crowd in London and almost puffing the chest out like Bellingham has and going, give me the ball, I'm the guy, I can make things happen. And it's almost like Son and Kulisevsky and Richarlison when he plays and all these other guys are looking to Madison. They're looking to the new guy from the small provincial club in Leicester to make things happen for them. And he's been a big surprise for me in how, he, how he's handled that. And one of the reasons why Tottenham have started the season as well as they have done. Mm. 
can't help but notice no Christian Pulisic on Gab's list. Well, by so four clearly you, are, clearly you have a complaint. Well, the other one I was going to say, and when, your formal I'll be not getting Seb. invited no, on Football when, Americas when, anytime soon. When did, yeah. and Gab can correct me here, when did when did Boniface sign for Leverkusen? Ooh, that's a good one, yeah. Was that, was that January or was yeah. that summer? So, no, it's, I believe it was over the summer. And yeah. Boniface, I think... Um, yeah, you would have a strong case for Boniface there if, if you want to be mean and take my man Tijani Reinders off the list. But, um, yeah, hard to argue with Boniface, especially given, you know, Leverkusen are top of the table. When we talk about these guys, uh, the impact that they've had, you know, Bellingham's top of the table, uh, Madison's top of the table, uh, Reinders is, what, second in the table. Um, so, yeah, you, you would have a strong case for, for Boniface. Hold my hand up there. Okay. No love. You d- no so love. Still no p- 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 again. Further, can you, further and further down this list. Yes. Is there any way you can get through a show? No. <laughs> Listen, have you ever got through, through a football? Have you ever got through a football America's th- show? Even when you're on a different tangent and different mm. subjects no. that you haven't mentioned his name? No, I'm seeing a doctor. I have a Pulisic tick is what they're calling it. <laughs> Does Christian Pulisic know about this? Uh, <laughs> uh, he's the LeBron James of soccer, uh, as, they, as, as is well known. Uh, hold on, hold on. LeBron James was the it's top a, of the It's a joke. It's, it's, a, it's a joke from another It's not time. a very funny one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>